Our next guest is actor Simon Baker, who's getting rave reviews for his role in the new movie Limbo. Baker is known for The Devil Wears Prada and for, of course, seven seasons right here on CBS, the series called The Mentalist. But in Limbo, Baker returns to his Australian roots as Detective Travis Hurley, who's investigating the unsolved murder of an Aboriginal woman. I don't know, it's about a missing girl case from 20 odd years ago. Name was Charlotte Hayes. I don't know if you remember anything. Yeah. I remember. You know, they cleared him of that business a long time ago. Yeah, 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 I, I, I know. I've just been sent out here to take another look at it. And we're so Ooh. excited Simon Baker joins us now. Welcome. Good Thank morning. You. So audiences, critics, everyone is praising your performance. Um, what attracted you to this role? First and foremost, it was working with director Ivan Sen. He's a, an Indigenous director. Um, he pretty much does everything. He, he writes them, he directs them, he shoots them, mm. he cuts them, he does the sound. Uh, he's sort of like a, a one-man show. So there was, a, there was a real attraction to work with him. Because he does everything, there's a real uh, personal element to his films and the film relates to aspects of his own family and story, a story that has happened within his family. Um, and unfortunately for a lot of uh, Indigenous Australians, this, this kind of story is not too far away. Mm. Mm. Limbo is not just the name of the outback town, but it's also a state of mind. Uh, how is your character in his own state of limbo? Yeah, my character is, uh, is a guy that's sort of going through his own personal trauma um, and is kind of on autopilot with the process of what he's doing. So, he, so he's going to investigate whether or not this cold case should be picked up again. He's not, he's not there to solve the crime, he's just there to have another look at it and to see if it should be reopened. Um, and it's a situation where, and, and unfortunately this is um, quite prevalent where the justice system has let down the uh, local Indigenous family um, and the evidence that was collected was done in a haphazard manner. Mm. So he's just sort of... And then there's this connection that happens with the actual family. Um, and, and I guess that connection happens through uh, their own, you know, both the family's intergenerational trauma, which right. has obviously stemmed from... come all the way through from colonisation. This, this is a big aspect of, of countries that have been colonised. Um, that intergenerational trauma and the pain and suffering that a family uh, lives with from day to day and that, that lack of resolution mm. in a lot of ways. Um, I think there's a connection that happens between the Travis character because of his own personal trauma um, and the kind of broken people connecting. Yeah. Travis, I have superficial questions uh, after that uh, deep uh, dissertation. You can call me Simon. Uh, or Simon, or yes. Travis. Oh, gosh. That's all right. You really, are, you've really, become Travis yeah, in my Travis. mind. Yeah, uh, Simon, of course. Um, so my superficial questions are as follows. One, mm. am I crazy or is your Australian accent stronger in the show than it is sitting here right now or in the movie? Did you dial it up a notch? And two, what was it like <laughs> taking your hair away and becoming, uh, you know, it's not liberating. Yourself? Is it liberating? Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. Look, you know, um, yeah, my accent is different because I'm playing a character. And, ah, okay. You know, I lived here for 20 years, and as soon as I, as soon as I, came back here, you know, I got here about a week ago, um, and I because I've been living in Australia for a fair while now, um, suddenly. You know, you, 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 we're pack animals. You want to, you want to yes. naturally yes. Yeah. sort of okay. assimilate in some way. So <laughs> the next thing you know, I've, I'm throwing a hard R in there every now and then. It's <laughs> neutralizing my Australian accent. But um, for the authenticity of this piece, particular piece, and it was one piece of direction that Ivan was pretty much the only piece of direction that Ivan would repeat to me is just like, mumble it more, yeah. mumble it more. Simon, if I could really quickly, what do you want people to take away from this film? Because you said you were so happy that it is being played here in this country. Yeah, I think, you know, film and television is a wonderful medium for... It's, it's a very empathic medium. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful medium to look into windows of different cultures and different experiences that people are going through around the world. So to, to see this film, to understand what 
uh, the struggles of uh, um, Indigenous families around the world. It's yeah. not just in Australia. This this sort of this sort of problem, right. these issues are happening uh, in in a lot of indi countries where that have been colonized. Such an important point to make. Simon Baker, thank you very much. Limbo is currently in select theaters.